Good day everyone and welcome to a quarter final game of the Men of War Assault Squad Anzac 1v1 tournament. Here we go, we are in for an absolute cracker of a game. The fifth seed, Greek 393, up against Concertini of the German army. It sounds like he's got a bike rolling around somewhere at the moment. Greek 393, look at a regular infantry squad. The other quarterfinal, which is worked with Spoozy, I was away when that was cast, and I'm sorry for missing out on it. I said I would cast all the finals games. I missed one. Shoot me if it's such a crime. And I missed that one, and it ended up being 72 to 100. You can always go to Strat's channel, which I'll link in the description, which you can easily see the results for that game. But the beautiful machine gun placement here from Greek 393, cutting down those soldiers that were inside that zone. Constantine looked like he was having some micro troubles. Left-hand side will belong to the Soviet Greek 393, and the right-hand side looks like it's going to be another little micro tussle, as the center is currently being capped by the Germans, and it looked like Constantini broke down that wall, knowing how to play this map, broke down the wall, got into that little area, and there is the SMG infantry of uh, Greek 393, who is capturing this zone. It is no longer for the Soviets. Beautiful grenade placement there from Greek 3 Gets one kill. That was a little bit unlucky. Was there a second grenade in there, maybe? Second grenade got thrown away. The assault, uh, the leader of the regular squad, runs around to the right-hand side of the wall and guns down that SMG soldier. And to just make sure he's dead, the SMG infantry also puts a couple rounds into the dead corpse of the... Oh, the definitely now dead corpse of the German soldier, the machine gunner, in a very, very good placement, as I said earlier. I think he just gunned down some soldiers just here. Oh, no, Constantini's got round. He's going to throw that grenade. Greek is going to get his machine gunner out of there. The second grenade flies off as well. He gets out of there once again. And the third grenade <laughs> gets thrown as well, and he survives all three grenade rushes from the assault squad leader. He has a total of four, and he threw three, and still couldn't kill the machine gunner. Machine gun. A very, very good micro by both players, especially by cons to throw those grenades, and even better by Greek 393 to get away of those grenades or get out of the way of those grenades. Oh, this might be a nice little place for some sandbags and some snipers, maybe even a PKP or something on top of that uh, hill. Here comes another assault squad from Constantini, attacking hard on the left hand side. Hopefully, while the left hand side is under such heavy assault, Greek can uh, make the middle count as he's currently being gunned down by that SMG infantry that uh, Constantini placed in there so brilliantly earlier on. That was a really, really nice placement of the soldier. And the assault SMG infantry of Constantini is getting into the back lines of Greek nice and early. That is exactly what you want in a 1v1. Constantini has come to play. Who hasn't come to play? It's the quarterfinals. It's 2-0 to zero right now. Machine gunner from Greek in a good place. He's going to try and take out as many German soldiers as he can. I think he took out three or four, but then unfortunately perished. That assault squad soldier right hand side looks like it's going to be Soviet all game as Constantine doesn't want to attack it just yet. And also Greek trading the site for site. Maybe they're both going to have site in each other and we will be able to see what Constantini brings up as well. He's going to chuck him in a little bush there and keep him on hold fire as he comes another regular squad from Constantini. So that's a... A lot of MP spent on infantry early on. I know it is a 1v1, but <clears throat> a lot of infantry coming out for the German team of Constantini right now, but they're all being gunned down by the lovely machine gun placement from Greek 393. That's the third time I've made a good comment on it, because it is a very, very nice spot, and Greek 393 gets out of the way of a grenade there. Very, very nicely played. Actually, I'm still on low graphic settings because I was playing the GSM mod earlier. I really should have probably flicked it back to high for this game as there's no shadows at all. And just like that tree falling, I guess that I failed as well because the tree fell. I don't know, I was trying to make a joke and clearly had no idea what I was going on about. But anyway, back in the middle, Greek 93 some great micro is killing the assault SMG infantry of Constantini just there. Here comes another assault score from Constantini. Greek 93 has sight on him because of the man in the bush, but Constantini's gonna get the kill. See, when you get sight on someone in their backfield, you really shouldn't put it at their spawn. You should maybe put it at the back of their spawn, off to the side of their spawn, like maybe up in these bushes up here, or maybe even off to the back here, so you can get sight without being discovered by the AI. And I think that Assault Squad soldier took out so many Marines just then, maybe three or four, before they actually turn around and realize they're being shot at. Here comes a Marine from Greek, maybe to throw a grenade. No, the machine gunner might throw the grenade. That's a very, very... Big micro mistake there by Greek 3 Should have had him on suppressive fire, pinning down those soldiers. Unfortunately, he's died. And there goes a whole Marine squad of Greek 3 already. You need some shock infantry right now at the middle. I reckon it's 3-1. to one. Greek is currently being outplayed by the higher seed, Constantini. No wonder he's the number one seed earlier on. I didn't rate him.
him in this tournament, but he has improved leap and, leaps and bounds over the last couple of weeks and really put the practice time in that he needed to for this tournament as another Assault Squad now making its way up to the right-hand flank. So it looks like it might not be Soviet for long as <clears throat> Greek is definitely being pressured on that right-hand side. Also, the left-hand side is being deeply attacked by Concertini right now. He knows that side better than anyone by the looks of it. Here comes... Oh, I thought, I thought, sorry, I meant here comes the death of a German soldier. So I'm very, very tired at the moment, but it's a quarterfinals game, so I have to cast it because I cannot miss both of them. As the assault rifleman will get away with his life after that grenade explosion, but then cops a Molotov cocktail, cocktail to the face. And on the right hand side, we see no action whatsoever beside that little assault squad skirmish just before. People are texting me, you're gonna text me while I'm casting Men of War, come on. Anyway, machine gun out from Greek 293 is pinning down somebody behind the wall. There he is, the pesky little assault rifleman that needs to be pinned down behind that wall at the moment. And the MG42 right back here just um, getting some really, really nice fire. Veteran sniper out from Concertini. He, maybe he's got two. I just saw two sniper kills in really, really quick succession. So hopefully, Constantini doesn't have two snipers out in the field already, because that would mean a lot of trouble for Greek 293. He's just running past these soldiers. Greek, have a look at your soldiers, man. And Constantini using great battlefield resources, using great battlefield resources, using the resources he can find on the battlefield. He picked up the DP-27, as we can see it right there, the Soviet machine gun. And Constantini is everywhere, and Greek 393 is not even looking at his back lines right now. He's not even trying to flush out the people who are getting sight of him. The guy that I'm going for in this tournament, it is all coming unstuck at the pointy end. And unfortunately, we are here to spectate it as the Assault Rifleman now falls. So I think that is all the guys cleared from the river. So now... Now, Greek 3 should just just kick back. Yes, it's 3 to 12. Yes, it's a 1v1, but just just keep your head screwed on a little bit. Think about your next buy. It's a BA64. Probably not the best buy, but just, just think. Just take a moment, deep breath, think, and get yourself back in the tournament. That's what some players do in a 1v1. They just panic, lose their head. And these uh, very, very high-seated players know how to not lose their heads in games, but at the moment, by the... Uh, Look of Greek spies. He bought a BA-64 and there's a 222 on the field. So he definitely isn't keeping his head just yet. But he does have a nice infantry spread along here that he can push up with if he had a T-60 or the likes. But unfortunately, he won't. And here comes a nice grenade, a Volkstrom and a 222 charge on this right-hand upper point. Here comes a 222 to gun down all infantry that is scattered around this point so far. And... Hmm. He was just cut down behind that solid stone wall just there and Greek 393 is in a little bit of trouble on this upper point. I don't know if Constantini knows that there's a guy there. Hopefully he can do some really, really good micro and get himself back on that point. Killing those two Volkstrom squads. Quickly kill the machine gun before the 222 comes. Come on, keep moving. You can't you can't stop in a 1v1. There's, there's no time for relaxing and the 222 is going to come along. He might run over one. He does get one. He wants to turn around quickly and get the second hull destroyed engine damaged and he will not be in the second at all. It's just going to keep being shot by the 222 to make sure no crew members get out of there. He could have got two for one there, the MGs, but uh, unfortunately he didn't. Oh, here comes a tank crewman. Maybe he could run along the back and get the kill on... No, he's going to get shot in the face. Yeah, he, he's now disappeared. So he definitely is not going to kill any uh, machine gunner today, but the Volkstrom just cops. <laughs> the Volkstrom turns around and just cops like seven different rifle shots from different angles all at his face at once, and here comes the 222, or the 222 is not coming, it's just still here, and it just an obliterates another Soviet soldier just there, it's 3 to 23 right now, 20 points down, 3 cap in a quarter final, come on Greek 293, all last and get back in this one, and that right there is not what you want to be doing in a 1v1 quarter final of the Men of War Anzac Assault Squad tournament, Anzac Assault Squad, Assault Squad Anzac tournament, as he just AT grenaded the wall and killed himself. But here comes the 222 from Constantini. Here it comes. It's not still here. It, no, this, this time it's actually well and truly coming. Half track to the left hand side. He's chosen to completely ignore the 222. Yes, he's got an AT rifle. It's not even out. Come on, Greek. Get your head in the game, champ, as Constantini is having a field day right now. He's walking into the semi finals if Greek 393 cannot pull the finger out of his proverbial right now. Assault Rifleman are going to be pinned down by this half track. There's also a machine gunner there. I think that's the third or fourth, maybe even fifth machine gunner I've already seen from Concertini. Just over 10 minutes in, 3 to 29. It's a three cap right now. AT grenade. No, that was it. That was a normal grenade inside it. The... And there you go. Wow, that was really, really cool. That was a regular grenade that landed in the back of the half track. And then 
an actual AT grenade hit it and blew it into tiny little half track pieces. So, that, so the second part of the grenade of the second or the latter of the grenades was a lot better. As here comes another assault squad from Town Three. Yes, he's spamming out infantry, but he's really not helping his infantry with vehicles. You need you need something like maybe he should, probably should have gone a charge, which I saw before, but he didn't have like the T sixties or something T-70 by to back it up. Here comes another charge unit. It's all good and dandy to have infantry, but he needs something like, not a ZSU, that would probably be a little bit of overkill right now, but here comes a lot of assault squad soldiers from Constantini just pouring into the back line of the Soviet Union Greek 393. And unfortunately, oh, what is that? That is an AT rifleman. I was just going to say, I'm pretty sure a charge unit doesn't come with a guards rifle or an AT rifle wheeling soldier, but that is definitely not the case. It is just my lack of, I wouldn't say game knowledge, my lack of awake, sleep would probably be the better word, but come on, turn that AT rifle and get the kill on the 222 please. No, the first shot bounces off and the second shot was never taken as the 222 killed him. <sighs> come on Greek, T60 or T70, let's get this game lasting a little bit longer. It's 3 to 38 right now, it looks like Constantini will be walking into the semi-final game against, I'm pretty sure it is wouldn't have a clue. <laughs> um, he's walking into the final against Rochford. Yes, Rochford. Rochford versus Spoozy. It ended up being 72 to 100 that game. I didn't cast it because I was unluckily away at the time. But this right hand point is still being capped by the Soviets. He needs to find somewhere else. H engine damage and hull destroyed. So that's good news that the 2 2 2 is down. He needs to cap another point though, as the BA 11 is probably going to be countered by nothing. I thought there might have been a P3 or something in the background. Here comes a partisan squad from Greek 393. Also, his assault rifle need to get on the move into this middle point. It's not capping it to make sure this game goes longer. This is the time where you don't care about the guys behind your lines. Because all you want is to cap points at the center of the flag. The AT grenade was never going to make the distance, unfortunately, for that German soldier. He needs to kill this machine gun at ASAP so he can get guys around this building and start capping this point and make the game last longer. This is a big moment here. Can the BA-11 kill a Panzer III? Well, it's missed the first shot. I'm not backing it, but can it kill a Panzer III? APC unneeded. He tracks it. Oh, God, he's going to get off a second shot as well. This could be very, very interesting. No, it missed as well. So that is definitely game over for the BA-11, which culls damages the Panzer III. If he caps this point in time, we could be seeing a game that he's going to be hanging on a knife edge. Here comes a 2-2-2. Hopefully he can spam out a T-60 straight away. Top right-hand point is going to be capped. Game is now stagnant. Nobody is gaining points right now. It is 3 to 46. Could we see the fight back of the century? That's what I'd name this video if he actually came back from here. I highly doubt he will because Constantino will just easily cap a point. But he's doing the right stuff with his regular squad now, killing off these soldiers. Probably shouldn't have bought a regular squad. Bad buy, I reckon. Probably should have waited for a T60, T70, maybe even a T3476. Something that can actually kill a 222. BA11 can, but it can be so easily taken out by the 222. But I hope that's under repair. Yes, it definitely is. The repair kit is out. Is there a repair kit around the BA11? No, there is not at the moment. So it doesn't look like Constantini will be gaining a BA11 from the Soviet forces. Here comes the assault squad from Constantini. This is the moment that makes or breaks the game. What is he bringing up? A M37. Hmm, going to have to kill that 222 pretty damn quick. And then he's going to need some sort of vehicle to run in there. He needs a half-track or something. Please put that AT gun down before you walk straight into a 222 and get yourself killed. Greek, put it down and shoot the 222. He misses the 222 with the first shot. So that will be getting away with ease. And the light AT gun has probably just lost the game for the Soviet Union right there. Very, very, or the, yeah, the Soviet Union right there. And here comes the 222 looking to get some more kills. M37 on a very bad angle. Greek 293 should be on top of the hill right now. All this infantry is just going to be pinned down and cut to pieces just like Greek 393 has been in this game. And that 222 is going to be victorious and probably we will see the M37 taken out. No, we won't see the M37 taken out by an assault rifleman at all. 41, 42. I suppose he can still get it. He just needs to get infantry on that metal. Shoot the damn 222, please. Thank you. Hull damaged. I get the kill. I think he just ran over his own soldier as well. Just there. There's a guy there, then something got ran over, and there's a big splash of blood. BA-64 in a charge unit. Needs to get to the middle in the next five seconds, because that point is about to be capped. He needs to run in there with the BA-64, the Shukar, as it's more well-known by Nuki and a lot of the other people on Men of War Assault Squad. The BA-64 is charging in. It's now belonging to the middle. 6 to 47. Dangerous times. Just chuck every single soldier you have in that charge unit onto the middle ASAP. There is no time for dilly dallying around 3393. You need to be on that point right now. Start capping. There we go. 
massive infantry to it. Here comes an assault squad soldier. He's gonna he's gonna get the AT grenade killed. No, he's not. He's just gonna get an AT grenade that kills one Soviet Union soldier. It's ticking down at six to forty-eight. It might be six to forty-nine. It's gonna be six to forty-nine. He's gonna hold himself into this game still somehow. Greek three nine three is holding on by literally the skin on his teeth. It's disgusting that to think you have skin in the teeth. He flips his own shoe car, so the Germans... No, it doesn't. It flips back. He flips his own shoe car over and then flips it back, so the Germans can't use that um, machine gun, but it looks like they have now. I saw something triangular in shape spawn in the back lines. We need to kill that person who's repairing that Panzer III. That is very, very important. Oh, no. Top point is decapped. Oh, I think this might be game. It's 6 to 49. He has one point, so I think this might be game over to Constantini. Right here. Yes, no. Do the points. There we go. Game over. Constantini goes to the semi finals. Unlucky Greek Tyrone 3 catches next time.